in continuation with numericals uh, let us go for another numerical a single phase 1500 rpm four pole alternator has eight conductor per slot with total 24 slots the winding is short pitched by 1 by 6th of full pitch assume distributed winding with flux per pole as 0 0.05 weber fine fine emf induced so speed is given 1500 number of poles 8 conductor per slot and total slot are 24 so z is 4 into 24 we can write that will be sorry 8 conductors so 8 into 24 that will be 192 as it is single phase this z is nothing but z ph or z only uh, we need not to divide it by root 3 to get z ph at the same time we can write t also t that is t ph will be same for single phase 192 by 2 that is 96 what they are saying the winding is short pitch by 1 by 6th of full pitch so full pitch is 180 so alpha will be what 1 by 6 of full pitch full pitch that is what 1 by 6 into 180 we got 30 degree and winding is distributed they have given flux per pole is also known Weber E is expected so first find out Kc cos alpha by 2 that is cos 15 degree and just now we have done cos 15 degree is point 0.9659 ok coming to distribution factor kd before that you must know slot per pole so total slot slot per pole that is n total slots are 24 number of poles are 4 so it is 6 and what will be slot per pole per phase it will be 6 by number of phases 1 only single phase machine 6 when slot per pole is calculated you can find slot angle beta will be 180 divided by slot per pole 180 by 630 degree so beta is calculated now find out distribution factor sin m beta by 2 what is m 6 beta by 2 30 by 2 divided by m sin beta by 2 sin 30 by 2 so it is what it is sin 90 by 6 by sin 15 degree so we got this value as 0 0.6439 so we got KD, we got KC, we got TPH, now we can find EMF, E, 4.44, F5, F is, F is not given, so we can calculate F if it is not given. So for F, what is 120 F by P? speed is 1500 120 f is required number of poles are 4 so f will be what 50 hertz so it is e equal to 4.44 f phi m f phi into t 
that is 96 into kc 0 0.9659 into kd 0 0.6439 it comes as 4.44 into 50 into 0 0.05 into 96.9659 point 6439 it comes as 662.74 662.74 volt so this will be the total voltage induced in this particular case now let us go for next numerical so what is given a three in a three phase star connected alternator uh, there are two coil sides per slot 16 turns per coil armature has 288 slots on its periphery when driven at 250 rpm it produces 6600 volt between the lines at 50 years line voltage given frequency is given the pitch of the coil is two slot less than full pitch means total pitch is full pitch and it is sorted by two slots find flux per pole so emf is given in this case which is line voltage there are two coils per slot what does it mean we have two coils per slot each coil has 16 turns it is also 16 turns it is quite clear in one slot how many conductor will be there 16 plus 16 that is 32 and how many slots are there slots are 288 therefore one slot 32 288 slot 32 into 288 z total i can calculate 288 into 32 that is 961 sorry 9216 but i want per phase because this is case of three phase machine right so per phase conductors will be zph equal to 9216 divided by 3 so it is what 3072 so number of conductor per phase is known therefore turns per phase number of conductor divided by 2 it comes as 1536 so turn per phase is calculated now coming to slots per pole per phase slots per pole is uh, how many slots 288 and how many poles are there poles are 16 turns Poles are not given, so we can calculate poles also here, right? So, what is the speed? N, 120F by P. So, number of pole will be 120. What is frequency? Frequency is 50 hertz. By what is the speed? The speed is um, 250 rpm. 250 so it comes as 120 into 50 by 250 that is 24 so number of poles are 24 therefore slot per pole will be number of slot 288 divided by number of pole so it comes as 288 288 by 24 that is what 12 and this is what n slot per pole per phase that is m will be slot per pole divided by number of phase number of phase 3 that is 4 as slot per pole is known slot angle beta 
can be calculated as 180 divided by slot per pole 180 by 12 180 by 12 is 15 degree we got beta now what about alpha they are saying each slot angle is 59 15 degree we know and what they are saying slot per pole r12 but winding is short pitch and short pitch by two slot that means if uh, qual side uh, qual side one is going in slot number one then qual side two should go one plus twelve that is in thirteen but it is short pitched by two so it will not go in thirteen it will go to thirteen minus two eleven so alpha will be the cording angle the cording angle will be number of slot by which it is shorted into slot angle so alpha i can write two coil uh, sorry two slots less it is written two slot less than full pitch so two slot angle will be alpha only because two slot angle is not utilized in two so alpha is two into beta beta is slot angle that is what 30 degree therefore i can find kc as cos alpha by 2 cos 30 by cos 15 is we know 0.9659 coming to kd kd will be sin m beta by 2 we got m as we got m as 4 4 into what is beta beta is 15 by 2 divided by m sin beta by 2 so if you calculate it it is sin sin 30 divided by 4 divided by sin 15 by 2 it comes as 0.9576 nine five seven six we got kck we got tph also we can calculate uh, flux per pole emf line voltage is given so e l line to line is 6600 volt as it is star connected e phase will be 66 by root Three. Therefore, we can write formula EPH 4.44 FI TPH KC KD. This is 6600 by root 3. 4.44 frequency is 50. Flux is unknown. Number of turns we know it is 1536 into kc we got as 0.9659 and kd we got as 0.9576 so you if you calculate you will get phi as divided by 4.44 divided by 50 50 divided by 1536 divided by 0.9659 divided by 0.9576 it comes as 0 0.012 that is 12 milliweber so this is it uh, for the numericals